Uh, from consumer spending to natural disasters, many factors can affect how the stock market behaves. Even elections, especially elections, yes. can have a major impact. Yeah, Doug Luzader just talked about this as well. It's uh, just some uncertainty, right? And as we prepare for this presidential election in November, what can investors do to keep their money safe, especially if you're eyeing that market and uh, the arrows are pointing down, you get nervous. Michael Mazarin, the Retirement Education Foundation here to talk about how to how to weather the storm storm of an election, Michael. Yeah, elections are maybe the best reminder that we have that the stock market is not just numbers and earnings and data. It is humans making emotional decisions, maybe more often than making sound rational decisions. And politics really ramps people up. People get really excited when their person wins, and they get really scared or anxious when their person loses. And that bleeds into their decision making with the stock market. Mm. Despite the fact that all of the data tells us we should not be making financial decisions based on who's in the White House. Say that one more yeah, time for the people in the back. <laughs> get a, the get a nice close-up on the data, the data could not be stronger. And, and here's a, a, a Say stat it that, again. It doesn't matter who's in the White it, House. It, it, over the long term, yes. it does not matter. And here's a stat that blew me away. We were talking about this off, off, off air here. So if someone in 1953, we're going way back, 1953 invested $1,000 in the stock market, and they only owned the stock market when Democrats were in the White House, they sold when Republicans were in the White House, they'd have today roughly $60,000. If they did the reverse and only owned the stock market when Republicans were in the White House, they'd have roughly $30,000. And that's not a one side better than the other, it's just there have been more Democratic years than Republican years. If they didn't let politics impact their buying and selling, if they just bought the stock market in 1953, plugged their ears, don't listen to the political noise, they would have roughly $1.7 million today. Oh my gosh. The so numbers you, are yeah. staggering. What was the initial investment in the study? Oh wow. So and you, we're going 1953, way, way, way back, but that's the, that's pretty the proof. Incredible. Don't let the, the left, the right, the politics scare you off. Just stay the course. So you're, you're essentially saying that you know $1,000 could turn into 30000 or 60000 or it could turn into $1.7 <laughs> yes, and the, and the big miss here is that people miss the compounding growth. Right. And so people jump in, jump out, they, they try to pick different investments based on who's in the White House. It doesn't work out just by the index and call it a day. Mm. And that goes back to, too, if you are investing, invest in something you believe in a company that you believe in that maybe, uh, you know, it doesn't, ma like you said, it doesn't matter who's who's in the White House. Or ideally diversify by lots of companies right. with the index. Sure. There, the index, right? You're not picking companies, you're <laughs> picking the index. And there are so many more things that people should be paying attention to in terms of preparing for retirement. How far away am I? Am I on the right, am I saving enough? When I'm close to retirement, pull how much money, from which accounts, at what time, in what tax bracket, when to start Social Security. There are so many many more things that really do play a role in decision making, not politics. And it just, um, just it goes back to, to if it feels so overwhelming, ask somebody that knows this stuff. Well, just get education. Yeah. That's, I mean, really, for what we've seen to be the number one answer to all these different questions is just get education. So you make it make a decision with the right knowledge. So, Michael, let's just go a little deeper on this. So we know if you're if you're an investor, index fund, compound interest, let it ride. Don't worry about it. Uh, but are there certain political issues we hear about tax benefits um, or t tax, uh, what am I saying, um, restrictions, capital gains. capital gains, taxes, these sorts so of things? So there are. I mean, so the political outcomes can impact tax law. The current taxes are due to sunset in 2025 unless they get extended. Um, Kamala is talking about potentially taxing unrealized capital gains, which Personally, I think that's probably a, a little far-fetched, but either way, there, there can be repercussions, but the stock market proves over the long run, Republican, Democrat, is just going to recover over time and grow over time. Index funds. Yes. There you go. All right. Very good. Good stuff. The Very voice exciting. of reason. Right. Right. <laughs> Not here. What? There. What did I say? No, you're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> All right. Michael Mazarin, well, website for people to jump so on. So we've shortened it. R E F E D U dot org. A little easier now. R E L A S. We fed you. We fed you. Dot org. R E L A X U over there. I got a few uh, things to say to you with some initials. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>